Hi viewers, in this session we are going to do data cleaning. If you have conducted a study, a research or any other intervention and you have collected the data, a routine intervention, a routine activity, so how, what are the key ticks um, and techniques uh, with which you can clean the data easily? So I will be showing you some formulas, techniques and some usage of charts to do uh, cleaning of the data. So now this is my database and I'm going to start with the cleaning. The simple way is first to apply filter to the top column. How can we do that? You go to data tab and click the filter or you just select this and press control shift L. Control shift L. Okay, control shift L. Now there are two ways to clean the data. Either you go filter by filter each column and first you decide that what I would need to see for cleaning. So here you should write all those tips. First I would see blank info, relevant info and some other. Okay, so that you can do with two ways. Either by filtering or by a formula also. That is the best way. So for formula what you do. So for cleaning the best way is that from this database the one that you have filled with all the information there is village name district name and you have the staff name also so what you do you develop a sheet here you say who are the staff members collecting the data these are the names of the staff member villages and districts so that if there is an error so you might be able to see whether that error is in which staff member data or in which village data and you just go there and clean that. So I have brought here all the columns against which the data has been entered. For example, here you see from ID, from name to ID, you can take all these columns. For example, if I want to see whether there is any blank info in these columns, so I will copy these and make an issue sheet and paste those columns here and then what I would do I would go to the database and analyze the information for example I am going to see whether there is any blank information in the ID card so that I can simple do with count F and sum F the, the methods that I have already explained in previous session but here I will do them again now you see you can do this cleaning by filtering also but if you do it like this you can share a table and analysis with people that how much information is missing in ID, how much is in contact number, what is the analysis. So you can share a detailed in depth review. If you don't want to do cleaning with this so you can go to the next chapter. You can just click in the description because I have uh, given the chapter's name also and um, the disc uh, disc that is available in the description are in the lower side of the video. So uh, here what I would do I, I have used the formula count if then I go to the database okay and what I see look count ifs I go to the database and which column ID card I just select it from start to the end how I did it click in the first row and then control shift down arrow. So it will select the whole database till the end. Only that column. So I have selected the ID column. Then I will apply dollar as I mentioned before in my previous video dollar to lock this range then comma against which I am going to against which against blank. If there is any blank so for blank what is the formula? call it inverted comma start inverted commas close and these are also cut quotation mark okay so this means that it will count all the information that is blank inverted commas blank and against which I also want to see it uh, exactly against a staff member or against anyone so you can apply that criteria also and then the simple method I have already explained in the count F's formula that then you would have to if you want to see this by villages so you will select the village column if you want to do this by staff member so you would go and 
select the staff member column and then come back to the sheet so here it says there is zero blank information under id let's check it this is the id column okay here let me see by filtering and yes there is no blank information for example this one is not here it is blank for example so now you will see uncheck this and see there is a blank and now let's go to the calculation there also you see there is one digit it shows that there is one blank information so whenever you want to see to count blank information in a cell the, the, the simple formula is count ifs go to that sheet range that column and after comma say uh, uh, add these quotation marks are inverted commas and enter so it says that there is one id missing so in this way you can apply this formula to each column and see whether there is any blank information or not i have written these columns names here why because here i just did it with column j so onward the columns are same so here i would select this same formula copy paste here and just say check it column k so there also there is no missing information so all these you can check you can also check other ways for example blank information then you see by male female if there is any missing entry in the gender column if it is an id card so uh, and if it is in pakistan so in pakistan we uh, say that the last digit of a uh, id card if that is even so it is female and if it is odd so it is uh, male so you can apply a formula here you can insert a column and you can just expect what um, the last digit from this column so that you may be able to filter with you would have only zero to nine digits in this column then now here if you want to filter you would have a lot of cnic's or id cards or any number so you can extract the last digits from here if there is any such legend available what you can do you can say what is the formula to extract a right side or left side digits so this one this one is on the right side so i would say right then i will range this and after comma i will say one one means the first digit from the right so it gave me one if i paste it here so it will say two and then just drag it now here you can see filter in the filter now you would have only these options so if i want to filter mail one three five seven nine select them and see here in this column if now there is any female so it would be wrong so i am unselected the male and just selecting the female uh, criteria and applying so there are almost 720 records whose last digit of cnic is odd but still those are female but it's female just because this cnic number i just inserted dummy numbers that's why uh, i have just dragged it 0001234 so you have this option also that if you don't have any gender column and you want to add and if you have a id card column so you just extract this information and filter all odd and just apply to them male and then filter all female um, uh, all these numbers four two six eight and if there is zero and mark all of them as female because uh, maybe they have identified a person and by names it is difficult for you to tally with the gender column so that's where you this way you can clean it easily and then just when you are done delete this column and 
other issues that you want to clean. For example, the length of an ID card should be 15 digits in Pakistan. In other country, it could be different. And the contact number should be 10 digit, 11 digits. In other country, it could be different. So for this also, you can apply a formula. You just add a column. And there is a len formula, len, L-E-N. What it does, it count the characters. That how many characters are there in this cell. So I am just applying it and selecting and Now what it shows, it shows 15. So this is correct one. And now I just copy and drag it till the end. And then through filter, I can see that if there is any digit other than 15, so that CNIC would be wrong. So you can easily track that. Similar formula you can use for contact number, just add a column and the same LIN formula and then arrange the contact number and it will show 12 digit. 12 digit because there is a dash also. So if there is a dash, then it should be 12. If there is no dash, then it should be 11 or 10. So you can apply this also. So these two formula, the right left formula and the LEN len formula provide you these cleaning techniques to clean your data easily. Other cleaning option for you are also these, uh, you know, the number of uh, family members between different age groups. So you can, uh, this one is the total one. So it should be a formula counting all these sum with sum. So here also you can just uh, see whether there is any blank information or something. So you can just check. Now onward, the cleaning might be a little bit difficult because uh, they say if rented house, average rent of the house per month. So if there are blanks, so that means that the person house is not rented simply. But it might be because they have not provided this information or the data, uh, the person who was collecting the data has not uh, added it in the form. So that is also a difficult thing to, you know, identify. And for that, you would need some, you know, follow ups, uh, sample based follow up with the beneficiaries. For example, if you say you have 5,000 record, you just uh, select 10% of the sample and just call them and verify these information so that you may have authentic information. Average monthly amount of all utility bills. Here also you can check some, uh, you know, for example, if there is any number that is totally out of the range, as we say, data outlier, so you can just do that with a graph also. You can develop a graph. Just select this whole column. Go to insert with this also. This is X, Y scatter. X, Y scatter. This do what things you see. Now uh, uh, let me explain this. This chart to you. In this column, if you want to see any abnormal data, for example, if you look at this chart, most of the data is here. But if you see, there are some dots which are far away. You see, there are some dots. So you can identify these. But this chart only gives you the idea that is there any anomalies in your data or not? Are, in, is, uh, are there any outliers or not? Now, if you know that there are some outliers, so then you can go to the column. You just go there. You see, there is 0, 100, and there are 845,000, 4,000. Now you can filter these information that why the utility bills of such vulnerable communities to whom I am going to give some support why it's so high average monthly bill of a person is 45,000 40,000 80,000 35,000 and you see the occupation of the how is it possible so you can identify these outliers so you can identify these different types of uh, anomalies in your data in this way uh, because you have 
most of the information available so you can clean it you can see whether a rent of a person is uh, higher than for example uh, you see these two people their average monthly rent is 65000 you see and the next one is 40000 and the person occupation is you can just verify these things so when uh, you are going a sample based verification so you can do this by this well so that all the records where you find such issues so you can call them and, and confirm the information from them also and in this way you can use different strategies different ideas to correlate different columns data and um, see whether there is any missing information or not or any sort of issues for example this this column says whether the family size of the household is seven member or more than seven member now for example i filter here all those who says yes that their family size is more than seven so i have filtered all yes now just look at this column where they have provided us the number of people living in their home so you can verify with these also now here you see there is one family with six member also but that's okay he might have not counted himself so you can just you know um, verify the data clean the data with different columns and with different techniques to see whether there is any such outliers or families with income less than uh, 17,500 you can filter this column by yes and then see the average monthly rent and the occupation also that whether it's cross you know connected or not so this way you can do a lot of uh, techniques apply you can apply a lot of techniques to do the cleaning uh, of the data dear viewers thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more learning video tutorials thank you